Hey everyone and welcome to the Waratah Wrap. My name is Byron Geddes and we're going to give a preview of round 17 of the Molten Waratah League and we head to Bankstown at 2.30 where Manly will be there but I don't think Manly will be there for too much longer. I think the likes of Casey Samuel will be too strong and will get Bankstown the win at home. Both teams are coming off a loss and I just think that Hornsby will just be too strong and I'm sure their coach in Shannon Seabom will have the girls ready to go. Following that game, the Sutherland Sharks are taking on the Newcastle Hunter. Sutherland Sharks are coming off a loss last week and against the Penrith Panthers whilst the Newcastle girls got the win at home against the Sydney Comets. I believe the Newcastle will get the win here by 12 points. Final game for the Women's League, the North Bears will make their way out to Penrith. The Penrith girls had a massive game last weekend, led by their captain Alicia Poto, and Talia Tapeo did suit up and had an outstanding game herself. Renee Camino is not playing for the North Bears from all reports that we've heard here at BNSW HQ, so with this in mind, we believe that the Penrith Panthers will get the tick of approval. Now let's look at the men's league for round 17 of the Molten Waratah League and the schedule is like this. Maitland play at home against the Newcastle Hunter. Mitchell Ruta hasn't played in a while and I reckon he's hungry for a win in this game. I got Maitland on this game for 12 points. The next game is between the Bankstown Bruins and Manly. Manly are still number one on the ladder. Big game last weekend for Stephen White and I think it's going to be a game for Luke Cooper with a bit of pace. I think he's going to get the win for Manly in this one. Sutherland Sharks are taking on Newcastle at the Shark Tank. I think it's taken a lot out of their tank last week beating Penrith. Newcastle to get the road win. The next game is between the Hornsby Spiders and the Hills Hornets. How can anyone look past these two men in our league in Ben Arco and Joshua Chapman? They are on fire week in and week out. Hornsby to get the win in that game. Maitland's second game of their doubleheader weekend is against the Sydney Comets. I think from their game on Friday night against the Hunter, they're going to be a little bit worn for wear. And I think the three big names for the Sydney Comets in Luke Over, Mike Seckold and Laurent LaHaye will be the biggest factor and the biggest problem for the Maitland boys this week. And Sydney Comets, eight points. Hills Hornets have a doubleheader as well, hosting the Central Coast Crusaders. I'm sure the Crusaders are hungry to play as they haven't played in a while's time. It's going to be up to Callum Jenkins to get the job done. Final game for the round and North Bears are heading to Penrith. Penrith Panthers didn't get the win last week and against the Sharks, but North Bears did get the win against the Hornsby Spiders. Norths are on form as it seems. Last weekend, even their coach was on form. Ben Knight had some points on the board. Penrith Panthers, North Bears, Norths to get the win. Thanks for watching the Waratah Wrap. Until next time, I'm Byron Geddes. We'll talk soon. Bye for now.